Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Out here fooling with some game file pins. You know, I had the pin I needed to put in there. Well, I got that one in that box. Pins full of mud, so we got some pine straw in there in the floor. That's about the best I've got as far as remember the mud, y'all. Videos are coming really slow because it's taking me like a day and a half to upload them. Our internet, when it rains, just goes out. When it's not raining and it's dry, I can load a video a day. It work. It's good internet. It's something in the connections they've got when it rains. It just don't work at all. I had put this in here for these uh, Kelsos the other day. That's mule train down there I just showed you. And then I just put this one in here for these Clemens graves. Now, I have some people that tell me, hey, them's not Clemens. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. I was told when I got them that these are Clemens. That's all I've got to go on, and that's really all I care about. So if they technically not, I, they're, they're grays, and she is a different color, and they throw that color hen. So here's what I want to talk to you about. You've seen the black rooster in the front. Okay. I'm going He is part, how you say this, I am Samani. He's one quarter of that, and he's three quarters of these grays. My brother-in-law, Heart of Pine Homestead, I'll link their channel. They do some gardening stuff. Y'all go check them out. It's my brother-in-law and his wife. Uh, they'd really appreciate your support, Archon. But I had gave them or sold them. I can't remember. We'd done some chicken swapping. And I gave got them some graves. And uh, they wound up getting one of those I.M. Samanis, and they bred it to those graves. And they've bred a couple of times, so that's why it's three quarters and one quarter. So what I'm going to do now, my plan, I'm like, I want that bird. I, I, I want that chicken. <laughs> that's a beautiful rooster. There is no all-black game file that I know of. So we're going to take him, and we're going to breed him with my black Mac Ray hens. See where I'm going with this? So we're going to see if we can create an all-black game file bird you know i mean is it gonna be worth anything I, it'll be pretty to me that's all i care about to you guys that are fighting them you probably ain't gonna give a rip about it I, you know and he might come out to be t i don't know that don't matter to me i just want a pretty rooster and that's all i'm after so anyway uh mud holes all down through here i'm not taking you down there to show you because i don't feel like arguing in comments about why i hadn't done any pins y'all is raining every day and that's why them pins is a mess right now oh uh, so anyway that is a pretty rooster right there y'all him and that black rooster they eyeball each other there's a little bit of gap between them is why they not hurting each other you see i've got a little space right here between them Y'all look, he's pretty now. Black skin, black comb, black eyes, black everything. Now his pen is not quite as muddy as the rest of the pen, so he is pretty, y'all. So my whole deal is, is I have got to rearrange some things into these fly pins over here. And what my plan is, is, is these, I am done raising with these right here. So as soon as she gets where she can handle them babies in another pen, or they can make it on their own or, or whatever, this is going to be the pen for those black chickens. I've, I'll put another nesting box in here for them. And I'll put that black rooster. I'm going to pull that black hen and go in there. And then I've got a pen over there that's got four black uh, macrays. It's got three hens and one rooster in there. I'm going to pull one of those hens out. The macrays raise their own babies the best. Now, once they hatch them, I have to get them out because they're crazy and they'll fight over them and they'll kill them. Uh, I'm right now looking for a hen out here that I had to get out of my big pen yesterday because they beat her up over babies hatching in there. And I got her out and she can't see nothing. Both eyes is swell shut. Her head's 
like skint, and I ain't found her yet. Oh. Uh, so anyway, and I've got y'all right here a bunch of macrae babies. So I've got all of them. Brody's over here hollering, look what I found. What you found, bud? Y'all gotta forgive all my junk. I've cleaned up a lot of stuff, but I ain't got everything clean. Gotta have a little junk. What you found? Where you hunting? Hey, don't be don't be picking them. Don't don't them them's mock strawberries. I don't think they're edible. They're not poison, but I think they're gonna give you a belly ache. Don't be picking them and eating them. Have you done eat some? He wouldn't tell me if he had. They won't hurt him, but they won't help him either. Get out of them. All that plantain. I had to watch him. He comes by chewing on a big cud of it. Looked like he's chewing tobacco. So anyway, I still ain't found that hen. I'm walking around looking for her. She was up under these elderberries, and I got her out and took her over here and was helping her drink water yesterday evening. And then last night, I don't know where she roosted. Something may have got her. I, I don't know. I can't find her. I figure she's under something hiding somewhere. I know you're only seeing two, but there is three Macray hens in here. One's in that very back box sitting on eggs. So one of those hens is what I will pull out of here. And you see, these are mostly black birds. I think he has a little bit of gray in him. But see, he has red cones and stuff. I want all black game fowl. So anyway, that's what what we got going on with that i wanted to do a little bit of game file update everybody likes to know what's going on with game file i am fixing to try to create my own breed of game file with those if it'll work i don't know it's one of them shot in the dark type of deals i have crossbred and bred all kind of different stuff and y'all i have got you see all these babies right in here i don't need any of them babies i'm not gonna ship chickens because i don't I mean, it's just live birds. I ain't in a, interested. In Any of y'all that are around here wants to come get some of these things, I'll make you a good deal on them. I would like for them to get big enough to know they're going to make it, but we'll do some horse trading or work something out. I just know some of y'all like some of them. So if you in East Central Mississippi and you're interested, they're going to all be mixed. None of that, none of that in there is going to be pure anything. Uh, well, I mean, it might be, but we don't know what it is. Because uh, there's a couple, there's a mule train gray hen in there. There's two Kelso hens in there, but they don't have yellow legs. So they have got like a little, and that's why I throwed everything in here this me. Anything that's not pure is in this pen. And then that, uh, there is two black toppies in there. And I think that is a hatch hen, actually, right over there in that pen, that thing scratching. And the one that I got out they nearly killed was hatch. I've not had good luck with hatch. But anyway, I got babies running around everywhere in there. Told Brody to come over here and help me close this video out. He said they stickers. Y'all see all these sand spur things right here? I know y'all know what I'm talking about. We call them stickers around here. Man, them things bad on your feet. I had to go put my shoes on so I could go out here and walk around and do what I do. But anyway, come over here, Brody, in front of the chicken pens. Get right over here. There ain't no stickers over here. All right, come here, look. There comes Roscoe, come in. Roscoe. I figure he's smelling of something. There's a chicken somewhere. I bet that hen's right under him somewhere. Thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember the best way to do things. What's the best? 
The way you like to do it. I thought he was going to let me down, y'all. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.